Good morning. My name is Jane. Welcome to Storytime today. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Spike behind me. You'll see his bubbles and sometimes he'll come up and join us. But today I'm going to read a story called Sometimes When I'm Sad by Deborah Serrani. I hope you enjoy this story. Sometimes when I'm sad, I cry. There we go. See the poor little boy there. He's not feeling good. Sometimes I hide. And sometimes I even throw my toys. Sometimes when I'm sad, nothing helps me feel happy. Not even presents or ice cream or a basket full of bunnies. See the bunnies? Sometimes when I'm sad, I just want to sleep all day. Or I just sit on the couch and do nothing at all. One day, I went to see a counselor. She helps children learn about feelings. She said sometimes sadness can get so big that it takes up all the space where happiness should be. So I learned how to make my sad feelings smaller. Nice example. She told me it's okay to cry. She even told me it's okay to hide, but not for a long time. She said, if the sadness won't go away, I can talk about it with a grown-up who loves me, or with my friends, or with her. It's okay to talk. I learned that I can draw the sadness I feel with crayons. Holding something soft or warm can help me feel better. So can listening to nice sounds like rain falling, like birds singing, or music that I really love. Or sniffing a good smell like flowers or fruit or fresh air. Or tasting healthy food. Take a look. All those things can help. So I tried a lot of these things, and she was right. She was right. Now, when I get sad, I still cry sometimes. And I still hide sometimes. But only for a little while. because now I know ways to feel better. See, funny? And that is the end of this little story today. I hope you enjoyed it, and that if you sometimes feel sad, that you'll talk to someone that loves you too.